Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin Bieber and I have another video for you guys. So, um, I saw someone comment on, um, something. Oh no, they comment on my Q&A post on Instagram and they said, um, Okay, so, um, I just want to go ahead and make this clear. Um, how can I say this? Um, my videos that I did about two weeks ago about, um, my little, just for the record videos, I think that's the name, yeah. Those two videos had nothing to do, I mean, just, it was around the same time, but it had nothing absolutely nothing to do with mom's behavior or with pride situation like it had nothing to do with that i was just really really mad and i was really really heartbroken that someone that i love and i look up to that i considered a, a second mother to me really hurt me that way so i was just really mad and i knew there was one way that i can go ahead and let her know how much she hurt me and let her know how i felt and that was to do a video because i knew that my subscribers was going to see it they was going to be like and then they was going to tweet about it they was going to tweet her and she would see it and she would recognize it and she will um see how how I felt and see the hurt that I had in my eyes and um yeah that's the only reason why I did that I mean my phone was ringing off the hook for about three days a lot of people yelling at me a lot of people screaming at me a lot of tears a lot of um crying but I'm done you know the video was up there and it's not coming down you know it's, I don't I don't care who comes to me and tell me to take it down. It could be Mother Teresa herself. I don't care. I'm not taking it down. Um, because that's how I felt. And at that moment, I meant... I mean, and I still do mean every word that I said in the video. I really do. But um, at the moment when I did the video, I knew exactly what, my, what I wanted to do. And I wanted to get... I wanted to, everyone to understand why I wasn't old Jolly Ali about, um, about Wanda anymore. So that's the reason why I did my videos. I mean, right now, at at this point, I'm I'm pretty much over it. Like I'm I'm done with it. Like I really don't um care about the situation anymore. Um, I just know that I gotta be, I gotta keep my eyes open now. You know, so that's what that whole that's what those two videos was was about. It has nothing to do with Prada and B, and um. Um, a lot of people were coming to me asking me about the situation, but I can't always, even though I am a blogger and you guys know me for blogging about MB, I understand that. But when you get, when you get close to them, there's certain things that you just can't not talk about. Certain things that you cannot even think about, you know, it's just. Things that you just cannot do. You just can't not do that. You know, it's just, you don't do that. You it make you just can't, you know? And y'all don't, y'all obviously didn't, didn't see that. You didn't understand that. It's just like if me and Taylor or something that was going on in her household and I get on YouTube and I just talk about it, like it's nothing. You know how mad her and her family will be at me? Like, you know how how big that situation would be? That's something I cannot do, being that close to her, her being my best friend. There's some things that you just can't not do. And when I saw that that information was released, I was like, ooh, Jesus Christ. I just was like, ooh, you know? And... I can't, I couldn't go on YouTube and be like, oh, y'all. So now that the word is out, let me go ahead and tell y'all, can't we talk? I couldn't do that. Like, I can't, I could, I can't do that. No matter, no matter how bad you guys wanted me to, and even how I slick was like, dang, if only they knew. 
I can't do that. I can't be that one to do that because for one, I'm not management. For two, I'm not MB. For three, I am not Prodigy or Craig, whatever he preferred to be called at this moment. I am not him. So there was, I could not go ahead and talk about their situation like that. I mean, if y'all wanted me, okay. I guess what y'all, okay, even with me saying that on, on Twitter like five times, even with that being said, maybe you guys just wanted um, a reaction. Maybe you guys wanted me to be like, um, give my thoughts on it. Maybe. Is, is that what you guys wanted? So if that's what it is, I'll go ahead and do it now. Um, my thoughts on the whole thing about Prodigy leaving the group. Or if he is leaving the group, because we don't know. Um, um... I respect his decision. Whatever he wants to do, if he feel like leaving a group is the best decision for him at this time, then right on, brother. Do what you got to do. Just never, um, my, just a little bit of advice for him, just don't turn your back on them, on the rest of the boys. I mean, remember that you guys started out as brothers, no matter what you go through. You guys been through a lot, four years worth of a lot of drama. So just remember, you know, who they were and where you started off at. That's just some advice to, you know, pride. Um, I mean, like I said, I just wish him the best of whatever thing he do. I mean, I supported him in mom's behavior. I support him without mom's behavior. I think he's, um, I think he's amazing. I think he has true talent. And, um, I mean, I just wish him all the best. That's just, that's just it. I mean, that's my opinion on it. That's how I feel about the whole situation. That's just, that's just me. Um, I don't, first of all, that information wasn't even supposed to be released about, um, the group was, prior leaving the group, like that information wasn't even supposed to be let out. Not at all. First of all, I can't go ahead and talk and give y'all information or go ahead and tell y'all things because one, I don't know what their contract looked like. I don't know what's going on with that contract. I don't know none of that stuff. That's not my business. I am not in that group, nor am I anywhere near, like I need to be anywhere near that group in their business. No, that's, that's, all right, I, I'll sit that one out. I mean, if it's not about a con, if it's not about a concert, it's not about a tour, it's not about a CD, it's not about a, um, a rumor, then I ain't talking about it. Even if it came out, even if the whole thing about probably was a rumor, I would be able to talk about that because it was a rumor. It was it was gossip gossip at the time, so I couldn't talk about it. If it was just a rumor, always oh, rumors that prize leaving, then I would have been like, "Chad, let me tell you." Then I could have got on that. But the fact that it's not a rumor, but something re really, really true, and it is actually happening or not happening, I don't know. I just can't talk about that because that's like it's dangerous. Not as dangerous own. People get sued for stuff like that, and I'm not trying to get sued. I mean, y'all y'all giving me some money for this. I mean, y'all give me some money just because they try to sue my ass. Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? I ain't doing it. So, um, that's the only reason why I did not talk about it. Because I respect them and I um, respect their choices and I respect them at this time. Even though with it with it being out as Prodigy leaving mom's behavior, it's still personal business. It's still their business. I mean, even with that being said, do y'all hear anything else about it? Did y'all hear anything else about it? Like, what else is going on about it? No, you didn't hear anything about it because it's personal. I mean, did you see the boys talk about it? Did you see Rock, Ray Ray, person have anybody talk about it? No, because it's personal. They can't go and talk and just tell y'all everything and every situation because they have contracts. They have people telling them, don't you open your mouth or we will sue your ass. You know, like, things like that. You just can't. Just because you know something, I mean, you got to tell it. You just can't. You just can't. And all I ask for you guys to respect that. That's it. I mean, you, all I need is respect. Someone else asked me, what am I going to do now about pride not being in the group? Um, I mean, whatever. I mean, I I went to go see the group. Honestly, I just went to go see the group. It wasn't like, oh, the pride's not there and I'm not going. It's like, no, I just came to see the group. Um... It's not like I'm like 
oh, I don't like Envy, I'm done, I'm done with them. Ew, no, no, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. When I first started this whole mindless journey, I was just so in love with them as people, their personality, what um, what they were, what they mean um, were. I was just so in love with it. And I got to, you know, meet them. And I got to talk to them. I got to witness things. I got an eye opener. And um, my feelings for them just wasn't the same. Around March, my feelings was just like, I can't. Like, it's not even um, on a business level. It's not on like a music level. It's not on that. I mean, the music is popping. Their their work is amazing. It's just on a personal level. It's just like, I can't, you know, for me. It's just like, I can't. And I mean, I love them. If they was did any anything from me, they know they, that I'll be there for them. Like, like that. Like, I got you. Like, you know that. But it's just some things that I have witnessed, I have been through, and I have seen. And I'm just like, oh my God, I can't. No, you did not. I can't. I can't. You know? And that's just how I feel. I just feel like that at, at this moment. And even during tour, I was just... <laughs> knowing that I just wanted to be somewhere else. <laughs> but... um. I love them. I love them with, with my heart. Like, I love them so, so, so much. And I miss, and I miss them so much. And I miss them. And um, I just wish that things were like how it was before. You know, I just wish things was like that. And I'm not saying that we are on a bad note or anything like that. I mean, because it's not. It's not a bad note. It's not a sour note. It's nothing. It's just how I feel and how... It's just really how I feel right now. It's just like... What I what I experienced when I went through is just like... It's, it's not for me, you know? And um, I mean, like I said, I love them. I really do. Like, I love them so much. But it's just... It's just, it's just time for me to go ahead and, and wander, you know, just wander away. Just go, go, go now, you know. Now, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I still bump the music. I mean, I still listen to my MBZ. I'll be in there. What, 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 Arlene, what? I mean, yeah, I, the music is good. Everything is good. It's just personalized. I have a problem with personal things, you know? But that's just that. And, um, yeah, that's just that. I mean, yeah, they crazy as hell. I love them. I mean, they do what they do. And that's just that. And I hope you guys understand and um, respect that. So, thank you. Number one. Girl, 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 girl,